Well, I had a VR class uh, last time and it was very nice because we got to use a lot of um, yeah, immersive um, technology and uh, VR and AR, I believe, is, uh, are very good tools um, to, to really um, get um, studying m more fun. I also think that uh, Kahoot is a good um, tool to motivate people because um, yeah, you can kind of uh, uh, relate to uh, what you what you already know and uh, compete with uh, your classmates a little bit. I think they should generally um, try to um, have more technology in the class, so they should be more open to VR and AR and also to use Kahoot and maybe also just um, have more group discussions. One thing I would also recommend, I was uh, in Norway a little bit and I studied there and uh, all the classes were recorded on video and um, audio tape and it was very easy for people that were sick on one day or also had to work uh, sometimes um, to, to re-see um, re, uh, the classes and just check what was going on in the class. So I think that's also a very good addition to this. One of the things that I think that should be like uh, more common in university is to rec record the classes either by video or by audio and like make it official because a lot of students are doing that and uh, some professors don't like it, some, some don't like it, but uh, we don't have the recordings and sometimes we do it by ourselves and those are bad quality. So I would make it uh, um, official something official about the university to, to be used and um, I think all other technologies like virtual reality and um, might be useful for classes when you have to uh, visualize something more abstract or uh, as an extra material I don't think they're mandatory to have that into classes but it could be as extra material and also I I think that the university should uh, give us more access to other platforms uh, like they did with data camp and other uh, links and provide us more more other resource i think it's yeah really nice when teachers use youtube videos because it's easier for us to grasp a certain concept when we have also uh, when we can visualize the that certain concept they are trying to describe and then I also liked that one of the teacher, uh, one of our teachers, recorded all of his lectures, uh, which just makes it very easy to study if you miss one lecture or if you want to multitask, uh, because you can just uh, do house chores and also watch the recording or just listen to it. And it's just easier to study that way. Just uh, using YouTube videos or providing links and uh, course uh, slides? I think there are a lot of resources online which are not yet used because I often find like when I follow statistics courses for example uh, then the whole boards get filled with uh, the whole uh, Greek alphabet and then I just look it up on, on the internet and they explain it much more uh, it's much more easy for me to comprehend and they use a lot more examples so I think maybe uh, give us some more online material that's available because I think a lot of students don't use it yet. And also uh, give us, uh, I think what, what Tilburg did very well was give us free access to data camp, for example. That's really a nice technology to give uh, at least my department some hands-on experience with coding and programming. So I think that's a really nice addition.